Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's little Popeye grin. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Today is Wednesday, which means we are in the devotional Purpose in the Pit. And today is the last day of this devotional. It is stories of people in the Bible who were put in pits. So today's devotional is about yeah. David. Say hello to our special guest. Say hi, Reese. Say hi. You're on your neighbor's camera. <laughs> Come up here. Say hi. <laughs> So, if the camera's a little wild, if the whole video is a little wild, we are not responsible. It's a little life with Mason. All right. David may never have literally been in a pit, but he certainly experienced the same pitfalls that we have read about. Like Joseph, David had a season of character building. He waited 15 years to become king after he was already anointed. During that time, he continued to tend sheep and even humbly served Saul. Like Benaniah, David proved... He was a mighty warrior, but instead of a lion in a pit on a snowy day, it was a sword-wielding giant while he was armed with only a slingshot and five smooth stones. Like Gideon, David had his season of fear and times when he had to hide in caves to escape those who wished him dead. David writes psalms about being falsely accused like Jeremiah and then turning around and praising God in the midst of all his turmoil just like Paul. And like Lazarus, David had a moment where he got pretty smelly. <laughs> Maybe not literally, but there was that time that he committed the sin of adultery with Bathsheba and then murdered her husband to cover it up. But even then, he was not too far gone. He was not too smelly, and God wasn't through with him yet. In Psalms 40, 2 and 1. 1 and 2. One and two. <laughs> <laughs> in Psalms 40, 1 and 2, David writes about a symbolic pit, one that maybe you feel like you're in now. But notice that pit is not the end. It is not the final chapter of David's story, nor is it the final chapter of your story. It is only the beginning of the next chapter where God hears your cry, just like God heard Jesus praying for Lazarus. It's where he lifts you out of the mud you're sinking in, just like Jeremiah. It's where he sets your feet on solid ground and steadies your steps as he did for Gideon and Benaniah. It's where he puts a new song in your heart just like he did for Paul and Silas. It's where many will see what he has done and be amazed like Joseph's brothers and King Nebuchadnezzar and Paul's jailer. And it just may be where you find your purpose. So that just pretty much summed them all up and basically just put them in this big old bubble of nothing is too difficult for God. And he can still use us no matter how smelly we are. <laughs> Even when all hope seems lost, that we can still find hope in God. And we should still praise him for his goodness. So, so the verse that was with this one is Psalm 42 through 3. And it says, He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the merry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear it and shall trust in the Lord. That's kind of what I just said. <laughs> and it says, many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. So because of our praise during our pits, others may see it and trust God. Amen. So that is it for Purpose in the Pit. That is it. That's now all. what? Now what will we do? If you guys do enjoy our videos, we do post Bible studies on Mondays and fun videos on Fridays. Makeup, food, fashion. Food. Food. Hopefully. <laughs> and always something faith related on Wednesdays. So if that sounds right up your alley, then you might want to like and subscribe to our channel so that you can see our new videos. And if you want to be notified when we upload, you can hit the little bell after you subscribe. Hit it. Other than that, we hope you guys have a good day, have a good week, and we Food. will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Okay, guys. So we just found the funniest thing ever. If you do this in slow-mo, it's absolutely hilarious. So yeah. Here's what we do in our free time. Enjoy. <laughs>